we're going to go ahead and review Panda Security Antivirus Pro 2014. And I am at the download page right now for the free trial. We're going to go ahead and download the free trial and take a look at it. I will post the link on the description of this video below. So you can go ahead and go to this page and download the free trial if you want. All right, once you download the free trial and install it, this is what it looks like here. And the one I installed was the Antivirus Pro 2014. You can go ahead and try Internet Security, which has a lot, a lot, lot more features, but is a little more expensive. But today we're just going to go ahead and take a look at the Antivirus Pro 2014. And this is here. This is what it looks like here. It says right now it's protected because it has the latest updates, and it seems to update automatically. I don't see no update button here, so it does update automatically. All right. It kind of looks like Windows 8. You know the start menu? I think they're trying to make it look kind of like that, which is a little flashy, but does take some system resources. I have been looking at my system resources, and it looks like uh, processor-wise it's been uh, using up my processors pretty good. So the thing about this antivirus program is it does use a lot of processor. All right, you might want to keep that in mind. All right, so taking a look here, let's go ahead and take a look at the scan options this program has. It does have quick scan, full scan, a custom scan if you want to pick a folder, and advi advanced virus detection, which detects, uh, it says right here, detects what tra traditional scanning doesn't always detect. With It uses a cloud cleaner. So basically, when you use the cloud cleaner, you're using the latest and best updates while it's scanning your computer. Now you can go ahead and set your scheduled scans by clicking here on scheduled scans. Just go ahead and click on new scan. It'll open up a wizard here in just a bit. Click next. Now go ahead and click add and select local disk. That'll scan your whole computer. Make sure you select local disk. All right, and then click next. You can go ahead and change the settings of your how you want to scan. And if you want to change your schedule, I recommend you do weekly, every week, Sunday, around 9 p.m. Start time. Let's change this to 09 p.m. Finish time, 10 p.m. All right. Now, I recommend Sunday at 9 because that's when most people have time to just leave their computer alone and just scan on its own. All right. And click Next. Scan name. I'm just going to keep it as new scan. Click Next and then click Finish. And then click OK. So what's going to happen now, it's going to scan automatically every Sunday at 9 p.m. And that's awesome. You can go ahead and change it to whatever you like, but that's what works with me. All right. You can go ahead and click on Detect Vulnerabilities here. And it'll it'll scan for, for vulnerabilities, with, like with your software that's not updated. For example, Flash and Java, if they're not updated, it's going to pick that up. Windows updates, of course, it's going to pick up a lot of those. I really don't like to install many Windows updates because it always messes up my computer. I'm going to go ahead and close this because this does take a while. Now, Panda does give you the option to make a rescue USB that your computer gets rescued and a boot if you get a virus that that disables your your PC from booting from booting up. Which is really awesome. Those two right there are really really good tools and every antivirus program should have them so I'm glad Panda has those. So this could really, really help you out because Panda isn't going to block every single virus out there. The really, really bad ones will not let your computer boot up again. For example, um, the FBI virus for the FBI virus does let you boot up your computer, but it doesn't let you use it. All right. But there are other viruses that don't let it boot at all. And those are worse. Just to name a few, it's the FBI virus, um, Homeland Security virus, stuff like that. And rootkit viruses do that a lot too. So that's a good thing. Always make your rescue disks. Let's go back to the main menu. Now Panda does give you reports, event reports, statistic reports, and you can also open a quarantine folder from here. If you do quarantine a virus, make sure you always delete it. Never leave it quarantine in there because it could come back. It could still break out of prison. So as uh, to speak you can you can say that it can it can break out of quarantine out of prison and still infect your computer so always always delete it all right 
and it has a big quarantine button here to get to it also and if you click on the antivirus button nothing much just you can turn it off or on that's it and right here you could choose what type of protection I make sh make sure you have all these checked all right your workstation protection email instant messaging and web browsing all right unknown viruses panda does have the ability to pick up unknown viruses that haven't been put on the definition list yet which is awesome it'll pick up certain traces and that's awesome always keep that on I recommend that vulnerabilities turn that on it's off out of the factory but go ahead and turn that on it'll scan for vulnerabilities on your computer really important alright and it does also have a firewall you can go ahead and click on it and same thing you can turn it on and off right now it's asking for a restart until I restart, the firewall will turn on. All right, but the firewall is always on on its own. Now there is other tools down here. There is a network management tool. And right now you can see the three devices right now in the network, my computer, which I'm using now, my roommate's laptop, and um, my little sister's tablet. And you can see the whole network this way. If somebody else is connected to your network, it'll pop up here. So this is a perfect tool to see if somebody has hacked into your network, your wireless network, and stealing from you, stealing internet from you. So this is perfect. Also, there's a program called USB Vaccine, which works as a as the same, which works the same as your um, USB rescue drive, but in a different way. You can go ahead and click on it and use it. I don't think many users are going to use that because they're already using the, um, you already have this option to create a rescue USB drive so I don't think much people will use that and of course you have your virtual keyboard you know if if you're typing in social security numbers credit card numbers on the internet you can use a virtual keyboard and with that you can um, you can actually click on the actual keys instead of typing it in your keyboard and that can protect you against viruses that like to collect uh, keyboard entry information alright that's pretty much it for the review on Panda I give it a good review for security and for tools but it didn't do so good in taking up system resources and it's still taking up a lot of re I'm using a quad core processor and it's using up pretty much all four of them just to run panda if you have a really fast computer you you can you have nothing to worry about uh, even though it does take some resources it won't be uh, enough for you to notice if you're running a computer that's a little older with not enough memory, uh, Panda might not be right for you because it does take a lot of memory from your computer. All right, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more software reviews. If you subscribe, I'll subscribe back to your channel. Again, thanks for watching. Like the video and have a good rest of your day.